before even jumping into iterators and generators let us take a practical approach on why even iterators and generators are needed are we ever going to use that we will understand it in this tutorial first of all i would like to show you the server that passed fast api tutorial so if you notice this memory memory is almost half full the load average is quite low because this is not a p car but definitely the memory is a great resource is it is a very crucial resource and we have to use it judiciously normally what happens when we are writing code we load a very big list or a very big tuple or sometimes even large dictionaries in the memory itself in the ram itself the problem is that it comes with a cost overall the server's memory will get exploited and auto scaling groups will be creating new servers to support more number of requests that would come with a cost in order to deal with it we have to judiciously use the resources for that we need to learn generators and iterators to understand generators we first need to understand iterators let's review iterator first and iterator is an object which can be iterated using a loop as simple as that they give us one element at a time and iterator must implement two methods one is the double under iter method underscore underscore iter and the underscore underscore next these two are super essential for any iterator object let us take an example of this list only all the list tuple dictionaries these are iterables let me create an iterator corresponding to this list price iter is price dot underscore underscore iter now what i can do i can simply call print price iter dot underscore underscore next it prints one if we repeat the same line again and save it we need to run the file again it gives one two and three so you might have got an understanding what iterator does it basically gives us one item at a time and as per the demand this helps avoid keeping a big list or a big tuple or any big data structure in the memory itself we can get whatever we want on demand deep inside most of the python utilities are using iterators or generators let me show you if you try to see the working of a loop or a range function they internally they are also using the same iterator concept so price iter dot next what if price iter is exhausted what if we come to the end of the list at that moment there would be stop iteration exception that will be raised and all we need to do is break that's it let's run it again okay yes sorry oops see 12398 that was our list itself one thing that you might have noticed is first we are calling these three next method manually then we are iterating using a while loop when we are using a while loop it the print state starts after the three values have been printed it means that internally python is doing some note keeping to keep track of how many values have been iterated this first three print statement takes care of 1 2 3 so they are handled now the pointer points to 9 so the next time when we want to print something out of iterator the next value which is being printed is 9 and not 1 to best showcase the power of iterators let me show you how can we generate infinite natural numbers numbers now all we need to do is we need to define an init method what it will do we are going to assign self dot num equals 1 basically we are going to start from 1 then we have to define iter method which is necessary which is compulsory what will it do it will simply return self at last i'm going to return i'm going to implement the next method again this is compulsory so hey this will require self to be passed in self to be passed in 
finally the next method what would it do num equals self dot num first we are putting the value of num self dot num in num then self dot num plus equals one and finally we are going to return num itself yes we can simplify the code but for now i'm keeping it as it is now we need to get an iterator object corresponding to this so let's say values equals iter instead of using underscore underscore iter that is dunder iter we can use the iter method also in finite natural numbers we need to call it we will get an instance in that instance we are applying the dot underscore underscore iter that's it finally we can use the underscore underscore next but i would like to showcase this next function which is available to us yes let us quickly see what it gives it gives me one two so if i keep calling it if i keep calling it in, inside of a loop we are going to get infinite natural numbers this is too much of work for me we developers we are super lazy and we do not want to define iter method next method this comes with so much of context instead of doing all of this what we can do we can simply use a generator a generator is basically a smart and intelligent way to create iterators itself let me show you how let's create a simple generator what it does it simply returns me some values that i'm going to hard, co hard code for now yield 1 yield 2 yield let's say 3 that's it for now we need to get an iterator corresponding to it but that is implemented automatically as we are using generator so we need not go through the same thing again so value equals return values we are going to call this function this will generate an iterator and give us the iterator so we can directly call print value dot next underscore underscore next that's it let me show you how it works python and then file name we have to provide it gives me one two and three the exact same thing that we could achieve using iterators using more number of lines now we can achieve that in a very simple thing in a very simple way so where are we going to use it deep inside in python it is used at many places for example if you see the implementation of range method or loops they are all using it in the practical real world let's say we have a very big csv file which is of some hundreds of gbs we want to read it out and process each row at once so instead of loading the whole of the csv file in memory what we can do we can have an iterator corresponding to that file we can read one row at a time that would be some really really cool thing in fast api what we are going to do we are going to get a session object which will talk between our code base and the database now in order to get that session object we are going to use the concept of yield which internally uses generator itself so we will have as many session as many database connection pools as required instead of just having a numbers a fixed number of database connection pools and then wasting them 